It's about Prince William and Kaya Gerber's whirlwind romance and breakup. Prince William dated Kaya Gerber for only a short few months last winter, but it was enough time for every tabloid out there to let their imaginations run wild about the relationship. Here are some of the most salacious rumors Got Magazine busted about the former couple's whirlwind romance. In autumn of 2019, rumors were flying around the tabloid world that Prince William and Kaya Gerber might be dating. Though at the time it was clear they were just friends, recent sightings of the pair around London City had prompted Women's Day to publish a story alleging that Gerber's mother, Cindy Crawford, was upset over her daughter's closeness with Prince William. An unnamed insider told outlet that Crawford was well aware of Prince William's terrible rap for burning three women, so of course she's worried sick. Got Magazine reached out to spokesperson for Crawford to clear up the situation told us that the article's story was not true. Again at the time, there wasn't any evidence that they were dating. Later in the month after that, it was confirmed that the two were in relationship. Life and Style wrote a piece about Gerber's friends worried that she was moving too fast with Prince William. Her friends were scared that they may elope. Another suspicious insider told the tabloid, they're practically shacking up already and they have been dating for less than three months. To be clear, they only had been dating a couple of months at that time, Got Magazine was told by a spokesperson for Gerber, speaking on the record that she and Prince William were not planning to elope, nor were her friends worried for. As usual, the tabloid was just manufacturing drama. In January, stars up the ante, insisting that only were Gerber and Prince William eloping, but that Gerber's parents, Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber, were worried she was going to get pregnant. Randy Gerber, the tabloid said, was scrambling to protect the vast fortune of Kaya's inheritance, as Prince William was refusing to sign a prenup. Gerber's parents were now considering bringing in their friend George Clooney in an attempt to get the model to reconsider marrying Prince William. The story was just over the top and totally ridiculous. A spokesperson for both Kaya Gerber and Crawford assured Got Magazine that the story was all fiction. Gerber and Prince William's relationship ended later that month, effectively disapproving all the stories we've already talked about but providing tabloids with a whole set of rumors to invent. In February, shortly after Prince William got out of a stint in rehab, Got Magazine debunked a story from in touch claiming that Prince William was trying to win Gerber back. Prince William wants a second chance and another supposed insider he even wants to marry her and will probably propose. The story was obviously not true earlier that week. Prince William stated in an interview that it wasn't the right place or right time for a relationship between him and Gerber, which doesn't suggest he was trying to jump back into a relationship with her. In that same interview, Prince William also opened up about some of his mental health struggles. My rock bottom is when people are scared of my life and I have to go away. He said, I think I've hit it quite a few times. Uh, he added that Gerber's parents had been supportive of his going to rehab. Her parents were really helpful and stuff, so they're cool, he said. It's clear that Prince William and Kaya Gerber's relationship and her parents' feelings about it were nothing like the nonsense the tabloids were writing. Kate Middleton is celebrating new baby news. Is it baby number four? Kate Middleton is now celebrating baby news, but it is not her much-awaited fourth baby. Despite the odds that are expecting the Duchess of Cambridge to have a baby number four, the new baby is from her inner circle. Her best friend and Prince George's court mother, Amelia Jardine Patterson, and husband David just welcomed their third child. Kate Middleton's pal finally has a baby daughter named Lucia Beatrice India. The kid was born on March the 20th, and yes, she kept it a secret for a little while. Hello Magazine noted Amelia and David's new kid joined their first two sons, Leo and Alexander. Her birth was announced in the Times newspaper's birth announcements section. Prince Philip's wife has been close to Amelia since they were only 13. They attended Marlborough College together. From here, a sweet friendship began when the Duke of Cambridge and Kit Middleton parted ways. In 2007, Amelia was the one who accompanied her to go on a holiday in Ibiza. She too reportedly helped the future Queen concert to redecorate Kensington Palace in Anmer Hall. She's now running 
and interior design company. David, on the other hand, also went to Eton College with Prince William. Amelia is just one of the six godparents of Prince George. It's mostly composed of the Cambridge's close friends, like the future king's childhood friend William Van Custom. Fans might have expected that it was Kit Middleton who had baby news, as Prince Louis recently celebrated his second birthday. The rumors are strong that a fourth Cambridge baby is coming on the way. In fact, according to her, bookies have been slashing the odds on a pregnancy announcement. There also believes that Princess Eugene is about to make a baby announcement soon after being married to Jack Brooksbank for a year. Anyhow, to shut down these rumors, Kate Middleton finally breaks the silence and addresses the issue when the crowd at St. Patrick's Day Parade in Berlimina Northern Ireland asked if the couple had plans to add another member of the, the family. She said her husband would be a little worried. I think William would be a little worried, she revealed, although she didn't explain her answer. With three kids around, she surely already had a handful. But aside from Kit Middleton, the public seems to be confident that Princess Eugene is about to make a pregnancy announcement soon. She and her husband just celebrated their first anniversary and it just might be the right time to have their first baby. Prince William reportedly approved Princess Diana Dodiel found relationship. Prince William was only 15 when Princess Diana started to date Dodiel Feld. It, as revealed, it was only a month prior to the princess's passing when she first dated the Egyptian film producer, the royal-born princess. Harry and William were reportedly able to meet the sons of the billionaire Muhammad El Fad when they spent the summer in South France. During this time, several photos were seen featuring the Princess of Wales' new relationship alongside her two sons. Unfortunately, the romance between the two didn't last long as they met their tragic death a few weeks later. This then reportedly caused many royal fans and supporters to wonder whether the late princess had approval of her sons, especially her firstborn towards her new romantic tie. Royal expert and biographer Robert Jobson shared in his 206 book title Williams is Princess that Prince William, who was so keen to see his mother's happiness, witnessed how happy she was with Dodie and Fad when they were all together at the summer trip. He also said that Princess Diana confided to her eldest son about it, according to Express UK. The expert also reportedly asserted that if the late princess was looking for her son's approval, then she got it. As explained, it was pleasing for the young prince to see at last his mother genuinely happy. Aside from Prince William, the expert continued to reveal that even her ex-husband, Prince Charles, was pleased to know she had finally found happiness. While this was very pleasing narrative to dwell on, given the tragic fate that Princess Diana and Dodi Elfad met, Royal fans and watchers seemingly have other opinions about the matter based on the general reception. The majority of the public doesn't believe that the late Princess of Wales obtained any approval from her son weeks prior to her death in 1997. In an online forum, Cora, where several royal fans and supporters have shared their thoughts and opinions on some matters surrounding the British royal family, it has been discussed whether Prince William gave his blessings or his approval to us, his mother's relationship with Dodi El Fad. As stated, many have taken it as irrelevant since the Duke of Cambridge was still a teenage boy at that time. Some also claimed that the royal-born prince may have fully supported and loved his mother, but this doesn't specifically mean that the princess needed his approval of her relationships, one commented. Kate Middleton, inspired by Prince Harry to open more about personal struggles. Kate Middleton has become a lot more active these days despite the need to stay indoors due to the COVID-19 crisis. Since Megxit, it has appeared she has become more relatable to the public as she continues to share and open up about her personal struggles. As per claims, it seemingly started when she had an interview with Giovanni Fletcher for the latter's podcast, Happy Mom, Happy Baby. In February, amid the heightened talks and discussions over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit, the Duchess of Cambridge spoke about her true feelings towards motherhood, according to the Express UK. Following the podcast interview, Kate Middleton received tons of praise and commendations from several individuals, whether 
Royal experts or royal fans, everyone applauded the Duchess for her rare openness to express her true self as a mother. Speaking to the publication, royal expert and author Leslie Carroll asserted that the Duchess of Cambridge was likely inspired by a very important person in her life. She went on to state that Kate was inspired by Prince Harry. The royal expert explained that the Duke of Sussex has been very vocal about his struggles and challenges throughout his time as a royal. This even reportedly become more evident when he started to become more active in doing his royal duties and responsibilities. On the other hand, Leslie Carroll also went on to state that Kit Milton was not inspired by Prince Harry, then her newfound honesty before the public might be a directive from the higher echelons of the Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace. She then added this probable decision might be the new normal of that the royal officials sound for the members of the British royal family to follow. The publication then continued to maintain the narrative claiming that this might be a method that the royals have been looking into since Prince Harry's exit. Considering that his departure has reportedly left a void in the British monarchy, especially in connecting with the younger generations like millennials, Kent Middleton might have thought of replacing the Duke of Sussex and has stepped up to plate while being open about her personal struggles. The reports then noted her honesty has seemingly been centered on motherhood or parenthood and children's welfare. Just recently, she opened up again about her and Prince William's challenges inside and Mahal as per Mirror UK. As reported, Kate Middleton admitted they have been having difficulties with the three children amid the pandemic crisis.